Hey guys, it's your boy Swift for Legacy here. Big guys from more gameplay of Heavy Rain. We're doing part 25, Graveyard. So, guys, sit back, relax, enjoy the gameplay. If you guys are new to my channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. Share the video out with your friends and ask them to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to notify whenever I upload a video. We greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, guys, sit back, relax, enjoy the gameplay. Thursday at 4.30 p.m. 3.672 inches. We're with Detective Shelby and Lauren. Into Detective Shelby's office. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Okay, cooked, Some nerve, Lauren. <laughs> Some nerve. Okay, eggs. Right away, so I'll be ready when she finishes her shower. Okay, so we're gonna go cook some eggs for Lauren. There's the eggs. Grab a plate. A skillet. Okay, skillet. Should be near the sink. Manfred. Poor Manfred. We've just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. Oh yeah, in case you guys missed the last episode, Manfred died. On the last couple episodes ago. Our friend Manfred died. Really sad. Okay, let's stir up these eggs. <clears throat> okay, they look ready. Or maybe should I keep them going for another wee while? Oh, shop. Prince in Manfred's shop. The last thing I need is to have to start explaining things to the cops. I should be ready by now. I okay, cut. I see eggs ready now. Grab a plate. Let's put them on the plate. The way that just fell on the plate is <laughs> hilarious. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. Notebook. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except 
that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, I've got... But Lauren, wait! She's onto something. We just know it. She's onto something. Where'd she go? If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren... Uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. His name we is could give it a shot. Help me. We're gonna find him. Hmm. They found it. Looked like they found it. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. Okay. John Shepard. Okay. It's cold. We're in. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. Late. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Time to look for Griff. John Shepard's grave. Leave. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. Kramer. We should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain. Looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Lauren. Shepard. <laughs> this girl knows her, her mind, all right. By any chance. No the point in trying to reason with her. The next plot. Thanks. Determined. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. Feeling. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. The thing is, there's a lot of graves, so which one is it? I know the woman back there said that the grave were children graves were in the next plot. Jim Williams. Dorothy Parker. That's got to be up on up here a little bit more. Bernard Harris. Roy Smith. Wait a second. Jennifer Carter. Hmm. Could this be it over here? Hey Lauren. Got it. I found it. I love the fact that there's an origami figure there. Kinda creepy. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Flowers. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October, I think. Per John.
Guess we're gonna find out what happened. Okay, so I'm going to end the video right here and leave this for the next episode. Okay, guys, smash that like button if you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new to my channel, hit that sub button. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that notification bell. Share the video with your friends and I'll see them to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Swifter Legacy. And I'm out.